Deuteronomy, Devarim, chapter 33. This is the blessing that Moshe, the man of God, spoke over the people of Israel before his death. Adonai came from Sinai. From Seir he dawned on his people, shone forth from Mount Paran. And with him were myriads of holy ones. At his right hand was a fiery law for them. He truly loves the peoples. All his holy ones are in your hand, sitting at your feet. They receive your instruction. The Torah Moshe commanded us as an inheritance for the people, for the community of Yaakov. Then a king arose in Yeshurun, when the leaders of the people were gathered, all the tribes of Israel together. Let Reuven live and not die out, even though his numbers grow few. Of Yehuda he said, Hear Adonai the cry of Yehuda, bring him in to his people, let his own hands defend him but you help him against his enemies. Of Levi, he said, let your Tumim and Urim be with your pious one, whom you tested at Massa, with whom you struggled at Mariva Spring. Of his father and mother, he said, I don't know them. He didn't acknowledge his brothers or children, for he observed your word and he kept your covenant. They will teach Yaakov your rulings, Israel your Torah, they will set incense before you and whole burnt offerings on your altar. Adonai, bless his possessions, accept the work he does, but crush his enemies hip and thigh. May those who hate him rise no more. Of Binyamin, he said, Adonai's beloved lives securely. He protects him day after day. He lives between his shoulders. Of Yosef, he said, may Adonai bless his hand with the best from the sky for the dew and for what comes from the deep beneath, with the best of what the sun makes grow, with the best of what comes up each month, with the best from the mountains of old, with the best from the eternal hills, with the best from the earth and all that fills it, and the favor of him who lived in the burning bush. May blessing come on the head of Yosef, on the brow of the prince among his brothers. His firstborn bull, glory is his. His horns are those of a wild ox. With them he will gore the peoples, all of them, to the ends of the earth. These are the myriads of Ephraim, these are the thousands of Manasseh. Of Zebulun, he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, as you go forth, and you, Yissachar, in your tents. They will summon peoples to the mountain, and there offer righteous sacrifices. For they will draw from the abundance of the seas, and from the hidden treasures of the sand. Of Gad, he said, Blessed is he who makes Gad so large. He lies there like a lion, tearing arm and scalp. He chose the best for himself when the princely portion was assigned. When the leaders of the people came, he carried out Adonai's justice and his rulings concerning Israel. Of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion cub leaping forth from Bashan. Of Naphtali, he said, You, Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full of blessing from Adonai, Take possession of the sea and the south. Of Asher, he said, May Asher be bless, most blessed of sons. May he be the favorite among his brothers and bathe his feet in oil. May your bolts be of iron and bronze and your strength last as long as you live. Yeshurun, there is no one like God riding through the heavens to help you, riding on the clouds and his majesty. The God of old is a dwelling place with everlasting arms beneath. He expelled the enemy before you and he said, destroy. So Israel lives in security. The fountain of Yaakov is alone in a land of grain and new wine where the skies drip with dew. Happy are you, Israel, who is like you, a people saved by Adonai, your defender helping you, and your sword of triumph. Your enemies will cringe before you, but you will trample down their high places. End of Devarim. Deuteronomy chapter 33.